Hey guys, I'm Trent. I'm Michael. In this video, we're gonna show you how to set up a scoreboard on your Minehut server using the plugin Kiteboard. Okay, so we have our Minehut server that we wanna bring some players on. It's really cool, but we just wanna make it like more enticing, look a lot flashier, a lot shinier. I also wanna make it like a tournament. I wanna know how I'm doing, Trent. Wanna know how you're doing? I wanna okay. know how I'm doing. We can do that. So we're gonna show you guys how to set up a scoreboard, the little sidebar, and then include some cool information on it. Yeah, I totally judge my self value based on how I compare to others. Exactly, so you want it to be the flashiest, the coolest, using the latest stuff. So we're gonna go over to our panel and we're gonna install a couple of plugins. So we're gonna head on over to the plugins tab. And then we need a couple plugins here to make all this work. So Kiteboard Kiteboard's premium. one of them. Yeah, so Kiteboard is actually a premium plugin. It would cost money to buy it on Spigot to use on your individual server. Uh, the Kiteboard author, Niall, has been nice enough to let us use it for anybody on Minehunt. So shout out to Niall. And here we go installing Kiteboard. We're also gonna install Vault. Vault is a plugin that lets us know how much money we have between different plugins. And then we're gonna install a plugin called Placeholder API. This will let us use some placeholders. Mm -hmm. And then we are also gonna install the plugin Essentials. Can't live with it, can't live without it. Uh, yeah, you hate to love it. <laughs> You'll love to hate it. <laughs> okay, so we lined up all those plugins and now we're gonna go over and click Restart to apply. Potatoes are good because when you bake them, you get XP. Server's online. Hey. Okay, so now we're gonna go back in game and we're gonna take a look and there should be a default scoreboard already set up. Let's check it out. We're gonna see what that is and make some changes to it. Cause we're better than default. There it that, is. Okay, Ooh. yeah, welcome to our server powered by Kiteboard. That's cool. And then, yep. It's powered by Kiteboard3 player Trent about your website.com. Some cool scrolling stuff, actually. I, I really like the scrolling. That, that, that's, that's very professional. Um, but okay, obviously, we want to fill in what our website.com is, change the title because our server is not named Kiteboard3. No. Yeah, and uh, you know some other cool news updates. Yeah. So we're going to head on over to the panel. And now to edit the configuration of plugins, we need to go to the file manager. So we're going to click on the tab there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go down to the plugins folder and then go into Kiteboard. Nice. And then we can see that the, they have a scoreboard folder and there are a couple of different scoreboards here. Now, a bunch of YAMLs. Yeah, 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 a lot of, a lot of YAMLs. So I wanna get rid of the join and the combat board. Um, some people might like that, but I wanna just have one scoreboard that everybody sees. Cool. So I'm gonna delete those and then and there just, we go. Just one main board. Yep, exactly. So we're down to just the main board because we, we just want one board that everybody can see at all times. So we're going to go in and edit that. And we can see that there's a few things here. There's the priority, there's advanced, there's permissions, there's all kinds of things like that. So you can set it up where like your VIP rank has a different scoreboard than other uh, groups, but we're, we're not going to worry about that yet. We're just going to do default true. So the scoreboard will be default for everybody unless they have a different one. So the first line is the actual title of the scoreboard. And right now you can see this here is just like Kiteboard 3. Yeah, you can, you can see it up above us, Kiteboard 3. It's at the top of the scoreboard. Yeah, and we want something different. So I want it to be Trent's server. So I'm gonna do Trent's server. Mm -hmm. and, and then the, the and B is the color. Yes, exactly. So that's gonna give us like a nice little cyan color here. Um, and then after that, there's gonna be an annoying chicken over here that I'm gonna go get rid of. Oh, there we go. Yeah, 13. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, so there we go. Um, okay, so now we're back in the panel here and now we have like this nice little line. The separator. Yep, and then we have a little thing like player, player, like it shows my name. Like I don't, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know. I don't really like that. I'm gonna change this to just be players actually. Ooh. And then, yeah, yeah, players. And then I'm gonna show the number of online players on my server over the max number of players that okay. can be on my server. Um, so to be able to know how to do this, I installed the plugin placeholder API. So that lets you do like a ton of text placeholders where you type something here and when it shows in game, it replaces it with like an actual value of something. Ah. So an example of that is if we go over to the placeholder API list. Yeah, and if you don't know how to get here, you can get there when you install placeholder API. Right? Yeah, the link is on the plugin page and it's in the description of this video here. So I'm gonna scroll down and I wanna do server placeholders. So now we can see it shows the player count of the server. It's the little percentage server online. So I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna go over here and let's just like do that. And then we're gonna do over. So like a little divided max and then yeah, max players. There we go. 
and then we're gonna we're gonna paste that in right there. Just make sure it's not a new line. Mm -hmm. And then there we go. So we have, as you can see, like server online, and then server max players with a little little slash there. So it should get us like one out of ten. Yeah, something like that. Because we're the only one. Yep. Yeah. And then this is a. Or no no no. We, we we don't we don't want the news to be scoreboard. What do we want it to be? Check out. Trent is bad at PvP. Trent is bad at PvP. I actually, put breaking. Is Trent is like you know, like breaking. News. Oh yeah, like breaking. Whoops. Rock. <laughs> breaking <laughs> news because yes. everything's breaking these yes. days. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Trent is bad at PvP. I like it. Per sources. <laughs> there we go. I don't know, like reliable sources though. <laughs> okay. Um, about um, minehut.com. Minehut.com. Yeah, minehut.com. There we go. Uh, we're gonna click save. Uh, hold on, let us move me over to oh, the yeah. left. So you can see that save button in the bottom right. Save, save. And then we don't need to exit out of the file. That saves it. We're going to go in game. And now I'm an OP on the server here, so I can just reload the configuration. Just a brief interruption. If you don't know how to OP yourself, we've got a video for that. And we have a whole playlist on the basics that you can check out to get caught up. Yes. So I'm OP, so I'm going to type slash KB. So that's the kiteboard plugin. Mm -hmm. And then just reload, and that's going to reload the configuration. Ah, uh, this is one of those cool plugins that doesn't make you reset. And there you go. Oh, oops. There it is. Okay, so oh, that, the news that, is right, though. Yeah, so that's cool. So, yeah, there we go. Breaking. Uh, Trent's bad at PvP per sources. Cool, cool. But the problem is the server online, server max players isn't showing up. I forgot that we need to download the placeholder API expansions. Mm. Yes. So if we go ahead and look at... Okay, so we are on the placeholder API list, and if we go down to the server placeholders, we can see that they very clearly told us, download this. So we're just going to run that command. Mm -hmm. So you can just copy paste that and yep. run it in your server. Go back in game. I'm an OP, so... Oops, oh, you forgot the slash. Gotta, there we go. Okay. And then the other one I wanted to show you guys how to do is install or put money on your server and, or put money on the scoreboard. So to do that, we're going to have to install the uh, vault mm -hmm. expansion. So we're going to do the same thing, eCloud, and then download server. We're going to do download vault. There it is. Nice. Okay. And then now if we restart the server, we should be able to see the like one out of 10 when we come back online. So we're going we're gonna to go try that out real quick. Restart one more time. Can we use the teleprompter? If you want to. Server's online. We're going to go check it out and make sure our scoreboard shows us how many players are online. So oh, you put an extra S. Line hut tut. Oh, it's just. It said tuts. Oh, okay. Oops. <laughs> There hey, it is. one out of ten. Nice. That's one us. Out of ten. Or you. That's me. Yeah. Yeah. Us. It's it's yeah. It's us. Cool. Um. So I have. Let's, let's see how much money I have. Bound zero dollars. Okay. I'm gonna give myself ten dollars, and now I can see Bal, ten dollars. But that's illegal. Ooh, inflation. <laughs> Crazy. Just kidding. I want to have. I, I I just want players to be able to see how much money they have on their scoreboard, so they don't have to like type their balance, and just so they know that money is a thing on the server here. So we're gonna go over to here. We're gonna go to the placeholder list again, and this is where there's a lot of placeholders. There's a lot of plug-in placeholders, so we're gonna go check those out. Mm -hmm. um, so and we want to look at the vault one. Yeah, exactly. So we just want to look. Yeah, vault economy. There we go. So vault eco balance formatted formatted. There we go. So we'll do that. So that should give us like a nice, pretty, um, like what is our balance. So we're gonna go back over to the file manager. Back to the YAML. Yeah, back back to the YAML file. So back into kiteboard, scoreboard, and mainboard. Mm -hmm. And then we kind of like, we might as well just copy this section here mm -hmm. and then just, just paste. Yeah, there we go. But instead of players, players. we're gonna do balance. And instead of this thing here, we're gonna make it green. So to do that, we're gonna do like a little A. Oh, green for money? Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna copy that one more time. And then we're gonna go over here, we're gonna paste it, make sure it's not a new line. And then there we go. So we have Vault Eco Balance formatted um, with the dollar sign in front of it. So uh, we're, we're, we're gonna add the dollar sign just to make official. it clear. Yeah, so yeah. It's super clear. Exactly, so it should show balance and then it should show the balance below it. We're gonna go down, click save. See that it's saved, and we're gonna go back in game, and we don't need to do a restart because all we did was update a uh, config. So we just have to reload the plugin. Exactly. So I'm gonna do a KB reload, and there it over. is. Sorry. Wow. So you did slash KB reload. Can you do that one more time? Yep. Yep. There it is. KB reload, and there it is. It added the balance. It added the ten dollars, and off it. You could give Trent one. It should update in a second with eleven dollars. 
There it is. Ow, very, that was actually really fast. Just like that. And now we have a beautiful scoreboard on our server with breaking news, the balance, the players. And there are so many other things you can do with your scoreboard. Check out the placeholder API list. There's a lot you can put on there and then just play and, around with the formatting. Yeah, and, and you can do all sorts of different colors. There's so many different plugins that I can interact with. Yes, exactly. So many plugins. Cool. And that's how you set up a scoreboard using Kiteboard on your Minehut server.